Good morning, everyone. Uh, my sincerest apologies. I made a video yesterday, and in between making the video, rendering it, and then actually producing it, I got involved with some activities, and I completely forgot. And so my sincere apologies. So that video lesson will be right below this video lesson, but let's try to make this one a little bit quicker. A um, lot of new long positions. Once again, I'm maxed out. I can't do much more. In fact, in the cash account, I don't even have enough money to go long AAOI. In the cash account, I've decided that I'm only going to take a position in STDY as it's basically a Fibonacci retracement at the top level candle over candle on above average volume with a lot of green and max green bop in the chart so i'm going to pick this one and in the margin account i'm running out of buying power i only had one intraday um, sell stop trigger in the margin account zero sell stops triggered in the cash account as i don't hold super speculative positions in there all the time like cpst which was the only one that triggered so quite a day quite a day quite a day but if you're under invested obey the signals aaoi is the new high quality long pos position uh, limit order at 44.35, first cut loss level 42.43, final cut loss level 40.28. Beautiful, beautiful chart pattern. I expect a measure move similar to the January to March move, and I would love one similar to the May to March move. I uh, don't think we'll get that again, but we could. This is a fundamental growth powerhouse. So I really like this stock, AAOI. If you're underinvested, go for it. 3% is the recommended account capital because it was in my can slim and then my green max green bot for five-day scan. But you can start pushing it here. We've got a market that looks like that it's ready to go. It looks like my long positions were telling the truth. And it looks like the overall market weakness was kind of a lie. So we'll see if it's good to go. But AOI is the highest quality. And then, like I said, STDY. This was the only other stock on Thursday evening that made two scans and then my tertiary scan for a total of three scans stdy was in my price volume bop surge scan as you can see bop was above average and it was actually well above average with that one volume bar there um in late march is going to kind of cloud everything and then it was also in my max green bop for five days scan so with it also pulling back to that top fibonacci retracement line not shown on the chart and with that overall bullish candle that's the stock that i want to get long stdy um uh, Right now, the only cut loss level that I know of is the 575 low here. But since I don't have much money to put to work, I'm definitely going to give this one room to run. And I was looking at it and I say, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll let it pull back almost all the way to... I really don't know, guys. I, I really just don't know with this one. But if you want to put the full amount of recommended capital, which would be 2% of your account capital... Make sure you use 575 as at least one stop, but this is probably um, one of my favorite. I mean, AAOI is my favorite chart for a Friday. STDY is my second favorite chart. But then the favorite overall possible huge reward setup is CMLS. This thing has extremely oversold relative strength index, and it's starting to curl up. MACD has been trending higher off some extremely low levels since late February, so there's positive divergence everywhere. And the volume surge and the price reversal hammer candle over candle pattern with the high day close came with a surge and bop to max green. If volume would have been larger, it's a no-brainer to really try to uh, push it with this speculative long position. But as it is, I wouldn't put more than $1,000 of my about a half a, half a million dollar worth of accounts. I wouldn't want to put more than $1,000 in it in any of the accounts that I have. But CMLS... Very nice oversold RSI play. You have only one stop level, a move below 22. And then FCSC, very, very nice. This was in my max green bot for five-day scan, pocket pivot point signal off the 50-day moving average. Very, very nice. The wicks at the top and bottom of the intraday candle are the exact same. I normally want to see a lower wick than the bottom wick, but if it's even, that's fine. STDY is even up and down. But FC. SC is a little bit more speculative overall as it's a previous oversold RSI turn momentum RSI play. But it's a long consideration. I don't think I'm going to be able to take it anywhere. 
but you definitely can. Make sure your first cut loss level is a move below 205, and then I definitely wouldn't want to see it go below 192 before getting all out. And then also ENRG is a potential long position. This is one that I wouldn't mind getting long, but once again, I don't think I'm going to personally take a position. I'm going to add here, since we're under neutral condition, that I if there's not a volume surge and if I don't love the pattern, I do really like this pattern. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of green bop in it. Um, without that volume surge and without that intraday tail touching that 20-day moving average, I'm not a big fan of it. As you can see, FCSC is touching. STDY is touching. AAOI is touching the 5 and 10. And CMLS is obviously going to be below all. So ENRJ is the only one this evening that isn't touching. So since it's like that, since I'm so limited with my capital, I'm going to go ahead and uh, avoid it. But it is definitely considered a new long position. If I I was not fully invested already, and if I had more capital to deploy, I would definitely try a spec position in ENRJ. But once again, I wouldn't put more than a grand in it. But very, very nice looking chart. Like I said, overall, the market looks good. I, If the market moves up higher again tomorrow, or excuse me, today on Friday, this is still Thursday evening on Maui. I will probably have some hedge hedge stops trigger. I've moved up a quarter of my stops to Thursday's low a day on many of these hedges like DXD, SPXS, SOXS, and SRTY. So if it moves below those low a days, I'll be out of a quarter of all these hedges like Tex also. So we'll see what happens. But the market looks good. So keep that in mind. I hope you've been paying attention on my long signals. I hope you've been putting 10% of your account capital per position, cutting your losses when wrong. If you have, you are probably fully invested heading in today as I was 90% long, 10% leverage shorts. All the while, my market model remained under a neutral condition. Even though everywhere I looked, amongst every long-term multimillionaire professional, Models under sell signals. Can't find any good-looking long-term charts. The only people that were making headway or that looked like they knew what they were doing recently were day traders. And it's nice to see the discipline work taking profits when the RSI index is over 80 and cutting your losses or taking profits when support levels are broken and staggering our stops like an IVAC. I now have six support levels. Um, all the way down here to the January lows. All right, everybody, going to wrap it up here. Sorry for not having that video lesson on time yesterday.